So, generally speaking, manuals are boring, but I find that old manuals are probably the funniest and the best. Case in point, this is a PlayStation manual, a 20-year-old booklet. Um, this thing, this thing is rare, just in itself, because not many people kept their boxes. So let's go ahead and open it up. It has your standard information, what comes in it. But this, this page, <laughs> This is what we're looking at. So, each little description has something on it, and this woman just like really frustrated or tripping out of her mind. Like, this one is AC120V question mark, and she's like, "Holy shit, what the fuck is that?" <laughs> just uh, plug it in, man. If you got an NTSC console, it's only gonna be able to plug into certain things. And then uh, right here, you know, someone is sparking the console here or stars or something yeah don't don't put liquids or objects in your console while it's spinning that's that's a bad idea but up up here here's here's a good one uh, unplug unplug it before i start messing with it oh man that's a really good idea now here's a better idea this this caught me off guard don't bathe with your PlayStation. Obviously, they're saying, like, you know, don't mess with it with water and moisture, okay? Like, maybe a better picture would have been putting a glass of water on top of it or next to it. Like, no, they went the extra mile, man. Look, she's got the shower and the bath going. <laughs> Actually, this is a story, Jen. This is a story. This woman, this woman's really fucking tired of fucking with the PlayStation. AC 120 over here putting shit in there and fucking her hand up, okay, having to unplug it, you know, she's had it. So instead of killing herself with a toaster, she's killing herself with a PlayStation. Yeah, don't pull the cord. I, I don't know. I've seen stuff like this before, but it's pretty rare, uh, pretty obvious not to do that stuff. Um, this one here is a really good one that I think they should put into every single book every single box and and just have it clear on the box ventilate your goddamn consoles you fucking idiots like look at this this kid's playing his playstation on the couch like literally on the couch <laughs> like it's not even plugged in look there's no cords it's like nope no tv i'm just sitting here i have it on somehow magic <laughs> and then they have all these custom drawings but this one <laughs> This one's the stick figure. It's like, hey, by the way, don't move heavy stuff or it might kill you. Don't leave your controller on the table. Now, that's a really good one because a lot of people didn't know about the vibration feature and it would vibrate off. Over here, this kind of emphasizes, again, don't stick it in places where it's going to get really hot or exposed to sunlight. That's a bad idea. That's I mean, what he said. <laughs> so... We have the antenna, and th this is old, old school, old technology. You don't, most people wouldn't even mess with that anymore. Um, here, if, if you can't tell that your plug is fucked up when it looks like that, you, you're not supposed to operate your console. <coughs> Crack plugs, ah, crack's not that bad, but. Super glue. Super glue it, yep, tape it. So here we go. Here she is again. Oh, she's just sweeping. And oh shit, look at her, man. Look at her face. She is disturbed, man. She's like, oh fuck, man. Johnny's gonna be pissed as fuck at me. Why was I keeping my vase on my PlayStation? <laughs> now this is the best one. I thought the bathtub was the best, but this one's the best. <laughs> look. She's like, oh god damn it. So she knocked she knocks it over and then she has to go to the repair center to fix it and she she's out in the rain and she's like oh shit oh shit they said something about moisture didn't they <laughs> here she is back in the house it's raining outside she's it's like 1-800 sony yeah what's your problem i fucking knocked over the playstation uh vase was on top of it and i took it outside in the rain now now it's really fucked up and my son's gonna be so fucking pissed <laughs> <laughs> and the guy's like, well, ma'am, I can't really help you. And she's like, God damn it, and I'll fix it myself. And so here she is, reading the manual, trying to fix it. And then she's just like, no, 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 I'm fucking this shit up. I'm fucking this shit up. And that's it. That's the last we ever heard of her, which transitions back over here. She's just had it, and now it's suicide time. So good night, ladies and gentlemen. That is the excitement for the manual. There's not much else to say. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed 
the PlayStation manual here. That's the only fun part I have to talk about. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, leave me a like if you did. If you didn't, well, where's your sense of humor? Thanks for watching my video and making it to the end. And would you please consider subscribing to my channel? By subscribing to my channel, you are not only supporting me, but also joining a community that is against stereotypes, lies, and fraud in gaming. I work my hardest to inform my subscribers of important stories that might affect them. From new games to important updates, the Mavericks are always informed. If you are tired of political correctness ruining your gaming experience, then join my rebellion, because PC is isn't for me. And if it isn't for you either, consider yourself a friend of the Mavericks. Subscribe today and you'll be in good hands. Mavericks unite, and together we can keep gaming from falling prey to the people that would not only censor it, but also destroy it.